I would like a shot at redemption. And what I mean by that is, the last taste test I did, I tried out the Jelly Belly Champagne flavored jelly beans, and I rated them a 7 out of 10. When in reality, I actually rated them a 5 out of 10, because I wasn't really used to the weird mix of flavors. And going forward, I will not try them again. So instead, I decided to get the Jelly Belly Fabulous 5. Whoops, it's upside down. Jelly Belly Fabulous 5 flavored jelly beans. Now, I'm not going to eat all of these in one video, mainly because of the phone size limit being reached. When this phone has approximately like 4 gigabytes of storage, so I don't know what that's all about. But um, So, my redemption is I'm going to be trying out the Cocktail Classics jelly beans. Now, you got Citrus Mix, Soda Pop Shop, Ice Cream Parlor Mix, Smoothie Blend, and Cocktail Classics. So yeah, and I'm not going to do all these in one day also, that way I don't spam my channel with consistent uploads. I'm not Mike Paul, okay? I know I've been trying to be more motivated in terms of uploading stuff, but again, you know what I mean, right? Alright, so let's get started. Oh, and before we continue, this box actually has the uh, flavors right on the inside. I have it upside down again. Pretty cool, right? Alright, so first off, we're going to try this, and this is a mojito. I think these neighbors are spying on me. Nah, I don't care, I want to be outside filming. Let them watch. The mojito is pretty good, actually. I feel like it tastes like a lemon-lime soda mixed with a hint of mint. I mean, it's odd, but at the same time, it's fun. In my, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. All right, what I'm trying to say is it's weird, but at the same time, delicious. And these are not alcoholic, by the way. Lol. Next one is a strawberry daiquiri. Wait, is it? Oh, no, it's the pomegranate Cosmo, or Cosmopolitan, I think. I can't really tell. I think it's the pomegranate. I can't really tell what's in here. I think I'd taste a hint of chocolate. Hmm. Oh, yep, I could taste it. I think like I tasted a hint of chocolate mixed in with the pom that, that was the pomegranate Cosmo. I feel like I tasted a hint of chocolate in there. I don't know why. But anyway, let's move on. Oh, this is from the wrong box. Okay. Next one we're going to try. Okay, now this, I believe, is the strawberry daiquiri. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. I feel like it had like a, a, a larger and a bit more of a stronger taste of strawberry. And um, not too bad, actually. I think I'm hearing people coming out here right now. Maybe I'm just getting paranoid. Okay, now this is a pina colada, and I actually love pina coladas. I never actually had the drink, but I've had pina colada flavored stuff before. like slushies and the uh, pina colada flavored ice sparkling water so i'm not i'm not actually gonna give this a 10 out of 10. see funny thing is my mom actually hates pina coladas i'm just like what's so bad about them it's just a mix of pineapples and coconuts what's wrong with that all right this one is a peach bellini. This actually tastes like the peach bellini sparkling water I get sometimes. So, I might as well give it a 10 out of 10. Oh, and as for the, um, the other, um, cocktail jelly beans, the mojito I would give a 9 out of 10 just because, again, bugs are flying around. Who cares? Anyway. 
I would give the um, mojito jelly bean a 9 out of 10 just because of the weird mint taste in, in there. The pomegranate Cosmo, I'd probably give an 8 out of 10 because I don't know why. I felt like it tasted a weird hint of chocolate. The strawberry daiquiri, I'd probably give maybe an 8.5 out of 10. Maybe a 9 at best. Pina colada, as I mentioned before, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 because it's just amazing. I love pina colada flavored stuff. And um, the peach bellini, I would also give that a 10 out of 10 because they're both amazing. And now for the grand finale. The margarita flavored jelly bean. Oh boy, now I'm just envisioning, not really envisioning, but I have that song Margaritaville playing in my head right now. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Hmm. Hmm. No, it's actually pretty good. I feel like the margarita jelly bean, it tastes like a, um, it kind of tastes like a lemon lime soda, but with a lot more lime put in. So I would give that a, um, nine and a half out of 10. So yeah, in all honesty, they were much better than those other jelly beans that I had before. So, oh, and before I close out of this video, I'm gonna do one thing. I'm gonna take one of each flavor. Oh wait, this is the wrong one. I'm gonna take one of each flavor and I'm going to mix them all. So you get the strawberry daiquiri, the pomegranate Cosmo, the pina colada, the peach bellini. I don't think I have the mojito anymore. And the uh, the margarita. And uh, here we go. One, two, three. It has like a weird fruity blend, and I love it. I love it. If you want me to try out any of these other jelly beans, uh, let me know in the comments, and maybe I will do a little taste test. So. Honestly, no. I also want to give um, Jelly Belly, even though I'm not sponsored, I want to give Jelly Belly credit for making, you know, non-alcoholic versions of these beverages in jelly bean form. And I gotta say, they are amazing. You know, and honestly. So I was just looking at the uh, same thing seems we're still going. Anyway, so honestly, the reason why I like these jelly beans is because, well, you know, now I'm 21 years old and I'm not planning on drinking alcohol. You know, the, the non-alcoholic portion of these jelly beans, you know, it kind of convinces me a little bit. Like if I were to go into a bar, if I were to go to like um. A shop and look for the non-alcoholic versions of these drinks I would actually want to get them and they actually do have a thing called mocktails which it's kind of like the exact same things you would normally get like the margarita or any of those other kinds of cocktails minus the alcohol so perfect you know